All right, guys, welcome back. CFP here, and this is Survival Living. So today we are inside our solar grid. Guys, I have shown this many times. This is how we pro provide power for ourselves, all right? We have a 6x12 cargo trailer. That is what well, my wife and I live out of all the time. This is a cargo trailer that I've converted, and there should be a pop-up there for you guys in the description as well. We took a trailer, converted it into a camper, something that we could pull behind us and our vehicle. Now, this thing here, we have solar, and down below here is our battery box. We're not getting into that because what we're doing today is actually going over our EMP shield protection for this. So we have a two charge controller set up on this because I have 800 watts of power coming into this system, and these here are 400 amp, um, 40 amps and they're 400 watts a piece. So these charge controllers. And I want to add protection level to protect these things. Now, I keep a lot on hand in Faraday cages, things like that. But guys, we live with this. This is something we live with on a daily basis. This is what we always use. This is our power, basically. So we reached out to EMP Shield. We are affiliated with them, guys. We've used them for our vehicle. And uh, later, we decided we liked the product so well, we went ahead and started getting into their affiliate program. So they sent this to me. Uh, this is the dual DC 48 volts. This is a EMP Shield protector for dual charge controller systems. Now, there's many different types of charge controller systems, and there's many different types of EMP shield to protect this. What you need to do is, if you decide to go with this, contact them. They're more than willing to talk you through your system exactly what it is that you need, so you don't buy the wrong EMP shield, all right, because they have different types of voltage ones and things like that. For my system here, I needed the 48 volt system, all right? So, we're gonna go ahead and get into this, guys. I'm gonna go over a actual installation video for you guys. Uh, I went ahead and dry run it and everything. That way it's nice and everything, and I don't waste your time. It's quick, fast, easy to follow along. So, real quick, we got our battery banks downstairs in this box. There is a coolant fan that blows everything out. Sorry, guys, we have a lot of food on hand. I always keep food on hand, so I had to clear all this stuff out as well. Uh, we got our uh, inverter here. This is a 3,000 watt. Uh, up to 6,000 watt peak. This is a very large inverter system. This provides us AC power for our for our trailer. We got our two charge controller. We got our battery cables going into for the battery to feed the inverter. We got two battery cables coming up, and also our shunt and everything else down there for our digital display is down there in this box. Then we got all of our wiring, and this cable set right here is going out to our solar grid. This cable here provides power for our AC units and we run DC appliance and everything straight off our charge controllers. So guys, we'll break this down right fast, show how easy it is, because with EMP Shield, it comes with very simple directions. Let's get into it. So, go ahead and show you the system itself, guys. This is the protection, the EMP Shield, for the dual charge controller system. Like I said, this is the 48 volt one, and it comes with the length of cables and everything else. You got a ground wire, and you got two sets of cables for two different charge controllers. Very simple. It looks like a lot of stuff, right? It's really not. I mean, let me go over the instructions with you. Okay, so I don't know if it's going to pop up on screen, but I would definitely take a screenshot photo of this for you. Basically, guys, you got your EMP shield, red and black wire, goes into your solar input on your charge controller. Your red stripe and uh, your red wire with black stripe and black wire or red stripe goes directly into the other charge controller that goes into the solar grid part and then your, your green you ground it that's it it's pretty simple all right so right fast guys you know they're showing the batteries and everything else well that's just for your charge controller setup okay that's just your basic stuff on all you need to know right now to hook up these charge controllers where to put it in and basically you're putting it right on the front lugs or where your solar actually connects, that's where you put in, in as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and install this, guys. With this, of course, they uh, sent us this really nifty uh, sticker here. I like it. Um, I'm kind of conflicted on if I'm going to put it on the vehicle or not because I really don't want anybody knowing that my vehicle is going to crank during an EMP or coronal mass ejection. So I'm not sure if I'm going to actually put it on anything. Um, it's really cool, though. It might go on some of my gear but that's about it and then it's also got a thank you for your business uh, letter and stuff from the mp shield team guys these these people right here i love speaking with them every time i call they always pick up they're very knowledgeable any type of questions i have i'm not a very technical individual okay i know the basics and i know what works and doesn't work and that's what i do 
All right, guys. So with the MP Shield, of course, the reason why we use it is because the amount of testing that has been done. All right, there is a lot of information. If you go to their website there at EMPShield.com, which is right there on the box, um, you'll find all, all their testing that they've done. How many times that they have successfully tested a single unit against a certain amount of voltage and stuff. I think it's like 30. It's freaking amazing. And it's so fast, it's like a nanosecond of response on it. It's the fastest thing out there to shut everything off to keep your stuff from getting fried. Freaking awesome. So, let's go ahead and get into the build. So, like I said, guys, very simple. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount mine over here up out of the way because you can see this whole back wall is pretty much full i could probably move some things around and get it in there a little tighter but i want it up here out of the way i'm going to run my wire in through and then of course i've got some uh wire ca cable covers like this right here and then that'll be all dressed off and stuff but what we're going to do we're going to show you the mount how to run it and how to plug it in and make sure it actually works shows to make sure everything lights up correctly how to correctly ground everything as well so let's go ahead and get into that So we have the aid of another camera down here it makes it much easier and i went ahead and pre-drilled every hole i actually reinstalled this system last night to make sure it'd be a lot easier today and it is it's quite easy guys it's all prep work so we're going to run our screws up in here we're going to run into a wall like i said very simple setup i'm using phillip head screws and we are just uh putting it right into the wall itself I don't need any jacks or anything like that on this system because this is half inch plywood so no big issues and of course before we run all of our cables and everything since I already dry run it I have this this is a insulator it's a cover for all my cables kind of like this right here so anything rubs up against it doesn't damage it, it just looks more uniform in the system itself so we're going to go and run our separate uh, cable systems each charge controller is going to be by themselves and we're going to go and run this in here before we run it all the way through So now we have our green ground. Let's go ahead and route this through. Because what we're going to do is we're going to mount it to our frame up here. As soon as I get the screw. There we go. All right, so what we're gonna do is wire up our secondary uh, charge controller. It's the one lowers to the ground. This is our uh, current DC number two, which is this one right here. And it's gonna be our wire set. It is the black with a red stripe and uh, red. Well, actually it's more of a pink with a black stripe. Now, like I said, guys, all you gotta do is undo your solar input. And that's where these wires are gonna go. Your red for your positive, black for your negative. So that's what we're gonna do guys, we're just gonna undo our lugs. So we now have our charge controller, this is our secondary one, plugged in. Everything is locked in place. Our cabling is running. And 
we've got a green light on the DC2. That is our secondary charge controller. Now, what we need to do is run our first one for our DC1. We need to run this one right here the exact same way, and then we'll organize and clean up our electrical. Now guys, let's go ahead and go over our wire and one more time here. So we've got our solar grid coming in. We've got our EMP shield right here in the back, plugged into charge control one. Same goes with our secondary charge controller system. We're running our cables. And we have both green lights up and running. On top of that, we have our ground mounted. So very important make sure you ground everything and now I can dress off and get everything else mounted up correctly for our wiring so nothing's hanging so again guys this is our solar system right here that we actually use on a daily basis this is what the wife and I have to rely on and this is why we also protect our equipment as much as possible and this is why we reached out to EMP Shield. So guys, if you're interested in an EMP Shield, if you use our promo code because we are affiliated, that is CFP EMP, that right there will get you $50 off your devices when you purchase, okay? If you don't want to go through us, hey, no problem at all. If you got additional questions, and especially the technical questions, you can contact EMP directly. Go to the website. Their number is right on the website. They'll be happy to answer any questions. Trust me, I call them up all the time, especially with the technical stuff, because I want to make sure my grid, my, my equipment is protected. This right here now allows me to protect my charge controllers. This charge controller system is the brains of my system. Without a charge controller, what's going to happen to your power banks? Okay, I'll tell you what's going to happen. When it the sun drops, your solar panels, if they're still hooked up without a charge controller, will bleed out your batteries at night. So when you wake up the next day, you got dead batteries, even though you went to bed with fully charged batteries. The charge controller also regulates the power coming in from your solar so you don't blow up these batteries. It has a regulation, so it's only adding so many amperage into those batteries while charging. Now, I don't know all the technical stuff, but I know this is a necessity on operation for a solar grid. Now, of course, we have AC. This is an AC inverter. It takes our DC power and it powers up our TV. It powers up our air condition, our mini fridge. Um, anything that we need AC wise, it does and it does a great job. And then we have our DC current, which I would just wire directly into our charge controllers. Now, these things here run our DC lights, our DC fans, our box fans, our exhaust fans, anything that we need DC power for, that's what that is. So anyway, guys, very simple process, very easy to do. I know it looks like a lot of wires and stuff like that, but if you actually take piece by piece, and there should be a pop-up on the solar grid, um, that's where I actually was installing this. It's a two-part series. Should be part two popped up there for you guys. We'll actually go over everything here and everything that we've done to assemble this stuff. So what I'm showing you is because we live it. If you decide to go ahead and move forward with EMP Shield, guys, I, I encourage you to call them, okay? Ask them, tell them about your system, ask them what it is that you need. Just tell them Survival Living sent you, okay guys? And you get that, you, make sure you use promo code CFP, EMP, you get $50 off. Now, do I make a commission? Yeah, we've always been honest with everything. I do make a commission. I make a commission off any of my affiliate programs. But what I do here on the channel is I show you what we actually use and do. We live off solar. For me to go and show you exactly what we are doing is proving this works. This is what we actually do. And if you want to know about their testing, hey, they've got a selection right there on their website. It goes over all their testing. There you go, guys. All right, speak to you all later.